Playing retro video games is really easy these days. All you need to do is own the game, all the consoles, all the power cords, all the monitors and stuff that you need for it to work, have everything be working together, have working accessories, and then, then you have to make sure that it all works. But sometimes, to get these things working the way they were intended, you need to either modify or just completely hack the games. But maybe we could just take everything out of them. Over the last few weeks, I was taught by some amazing people how to extract models from some very amazing games. Skylanders. And through learning all of those things, I think that this is the best way to preserve. While this is not a normal project for me, the code that I wrote is really interesting. Basically, what I had to do is combine three different programming languages. This unholy trinity is what allowed me to completely automate this process. And spoilers, at the end of this, I got every single model, texture, and animation for the Skylanders games. My code worked so well that it cut time down from weeks to just a couple of hours. But let's start from the beginning. The simple goal was to take every single model from Skylanders and rip it out. And with no prior knowledge, I discovered tools like Ninja Ripper and Vulcan Ripper that could capture these assets by pausing the game and extracting everything, creating a dumpster diving effect where you have to sort through a lot of extraneous data. Think of it like a shotgun and I just kind of aim it at the screen and grab everything that I can. After making a video on this process, I was contacted by members of the Skylanders community, also known as the NFC Mafia, who introduced me to tools for extracting assets for newer games. Together, we created a tutorial, but the process was slow, tedious, and complex, and as I delved deeper, my goal expanded, and I wanted to collect every single Skylander and set them up in Unity, so others could use them for their projects and all that weirdness. I realized that inspiring others to mod and support the games was probably a better goal, and after the developers leave and stop working, it's a powerful way to keep the games alive. This is where the idea of the master script was born. The process for extracting Skylanders is super tedious and takes a lot of different steps, so if you could automate it, potentially you could change weeks and weeks and weeks of work down to only maybe a day or two or maybe even a couple of hours. So what I decided to do is try and look at all of the tools. I wrote small scripts to automate tasks that would otherwise be incredibly time consuming. For instance, one script combined 183 folders containing 200,000 files, saving hours of manual work to combine them. Another script parsed animation file names so that way the final script could export them with the correct names instead of just numbers. Coding isn't just for creating apps or games, it's the infrastructure behind automation. It's used in everything from managing traffic systems to monitoring heart patients. So in my case, allowing me to automate the preservation of game assets would be really, really cool. Let's finally go over how my master script got this to work. And man, it shouldn't have, really. This is a real hodgepodge of a solution. And it turns out that this will only work on my laptop, and you'll find out why later. There were three final versions of the script. There was one that had custom plugin logic, there was one where it really did everything on its own, and there was a final one that actually worked using those three different programming languages. But before we get into asset preservation, we need to stop people from ripping your precious data. That's why this video has been affiliated with NordVPN. You all know what NordVPN is, right? It's that award-winning service that protects your data and keeps you secure online. Me and my friends use it to keep ourselves secure, and it is essential to online life. NordVPN is completely safe to use and has been verified by third parties to keep yourself totally in the loop. They even have other tools to keep your data secure and also keep it out of the bad guy's hands. And with some other amazing innovations like blazingly fast speeds and over 111 country support around the world, you can't go wrong with NordVPN. If you're interested in keeping yourself safe and keeping everything else in your life secure, go use NordVPN. Link in the description. Now on with the video. This morning, this morning, we may have figured something out absolutely massive. So right here is an absolutely behemoth of a script that not only goes up and down for a while, but also goes left to right. And in fact, it goes so far to the right that this, this window does not support going that far to the right. We have broken how we can even code. So 
going through this code, this is 3ds Max. It's in this window because I'm going to show what I did to fix this. But basically, what I did is I went into Visual Studio and I was like, hey, how could I solve this problem? We started by basically going through every single file and I combined them into one folder. So all the animations are in one folder. One of the other problems we had was these HKA files, you see how they're all in the same folder now? This is amazing. Inside of these files is all of the animation names that we want to extract. But there's a problem with this. How do we get this out of the file? Because right now this is a .hka. It's the actual animation file. So how the heck do we get these names out? This is not standard. So this Python script, what it did, is it pulled every animation out into a different folder, and then it made a new file for every single animation with the list of animations, so I parsed it to make a different file. We can now go through every model that I have in my Unity Skylanders Actors folder. I'm gonna go through that entire Unity folder though, all of those assets, right right here, all of my, my GitHub Skylanders models, that's, that's the Unity project. Go through all of them, and the animation folder has them named the same. So every Skylander is named the same as the animation file, because that's how they, they organized it. Um, now we have every animation name. So all we have to do is very simply loop through them. Now we've done this before. That's what we've been doing for weeks, two weeks, however long these people have been doing it, which amazing. All the people that have helped me have been amazing. Problem, you still have to do it manually. You have to hit the import button. You gotta change the numbers. You gotta do all these things manually. And I said, no. Over a couple of days, we had so many different solutions. I eventually found out that you can run a PowerShell script inside of 3ds Max. And what this will do, and I'm going to just take it through, through with you, you set the window to 3ds Max, you will then move your mouse to that window, we will then run an even more different script, this is an auto hotkey script for just one thing, it's just one thing, that auto hotkey script literally just has one word in it, and it says click, that click is the magic, when you click, it'll export the animation, tools, Evaluate all. Oh, wait, right. Let me uh, display it correctly. Watch. I'm not touching anything. It clicks in. It types in zero. Hits import. Now, here's the magic. Here's the magic. I want you to watch this. I am not touching the keyboard, and it just typed in one. So then here's the next thing. It should type in two next, right? And I'm not touching it. Whoa, it did it. And I know this sounds so simple, but I spent two weeks trying to get this to happen. And I'm so, so happy. And here's the really cool thing. We're done. All we need to do is wait. We just have to wait a stupidly long amount of time. And after waiting a stupidly long three days, I was able to get all of my models onto my laptop. Now, my laptop was burning at the end, and honestly, my battery life seemed to have degraded so much by the end of this. This was completely worth it. I have so many animations and so many models, and they all look so gorgeous. Now, I did start experimenting a little bit, and I had a little bit more fun with trying to get everything to work, and I threw in some grass and some other models, and I made this little display thing, and I think it looks really good. However, it needs a ton more work. It turns out that the way I exported animations meant that the names were off by one. So they're not named correctly, but I'm sure that we can fix that with another script or seven to be able to get this whole thing done. This project took about two and a half weeks to get it over with, but I want to start working on some other projects. So this will still be on the back burner, but it's going to be done kind of in tandem with everything else. That way it's not my mainline videos, but you guys also get all my other stuff at the same time. For now though, I got to start working on my other stuff, also a ton of schoolwork. So all of these models are in the GitHub, in the description. Go check out Nord, all that awesome stuff, and I will see you next week.